All right, so you know how Giannis set off social media and Twitter and everything really in the world after he said, well, I don't know where my family's going to be in two years. We might not be here in Milwaukee. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of weird because, you know, last summer after his contract was originally up before he signed his extension with the Bucks, a lot of people had him slotted going to Toronto, and that didn't happen. But after that statement, the Giannis and Toronto Kumpo petition is back. And uh, it's going to be started by yours truly in just about right now. So Wednesday night wasn't a good night uh, for anybody, really. The Raptors lost. I was wrong. Two out of three of my picks were wrong. And the Grizzlies picked up a W over their former Canadian cousins. The Raps never, ever had the lead. Memphis led by as much as 17. And as usual, Toronto fought back, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough in the end. The Raps fell 98 to 91. And if we take a look at the call review, odds makers are favoring the Raps by five points. Pretty heavy favorites. And the over-under was set at 218.5. And, and if we take a look at my picks, like I said, I was one for three. Toronto lost, and both teams combined for a low 189 points, which means I'm now 34 and 32 overall. Moving on, Toronto takes on the Bucks, as we talked about at the beginning of the video. And Giannis and Toronto Kumpo, that's at least what I'm gonna call them by now, uh, from now on is in town to take on hopefully his future team, anyway. Let's get to the picks, because if we take a look at the odds, odds makers are favoring the Bucks and appropriately by four and a half points. The over-under has been set at 216. And I'm actually gonna go with the Bucks on this one because I think they're gonna cover the spread. Uh, and there's reasons why. The Raps have lost eight of their 10 home games and the Bucks have won eight straight. On top of that, OG, Utah, and Ken Burt are all listed as outs. Gary Trent Jr. is a game time decision. So it's gonna be another game where Nick Nurse is gonna have to reach deep into his bench. I'll also go over on the 216 because Milwaukee is a top 10 team in points scored and three-point shooting, yet their opponents are still averaging 107 points per game, which is one of the highest marks in the league. In terms of what the Raps can do on defense, box out. Right now, Milwaukee, over their eight-game win streak, is the only team in the league averaging over 50 boards a game. And on top of that, the Raps, they're allowing the most second chance points per game over their last eight games themselves at 20 points, 20 second chance points per game. In terms of what the Raps can do on offense, it's not necessarily a strong suit for them, but they need to focus on their clutch points. Right now, Toronto is the second worst team when it comes to the clutch. They're only averaging 3.6 points in the last five minutes of their games. Now that's it for me, but make sure you take a look at the game day preview. It's already been posted. On top of that, the wrap up will be available tonight right after the game. The guys are gonna go live. Nothing but positives will be posted. The quick react will be posted and the game day recap will be posted tomorrow on the website. All that great content will be available at raptorsrepublic.com. In the meantime, hit subscribe on the button down below. Subscribe to our Raptors Republic YouTube channel and make sure you catch me next time on the lineup. Thanks for watching and have a great day.